Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Keel. Welcome back to another video, baby. So excited to be coming on to share this word with y'all today, baby. Let's get right on into it. I hear the Lord say they ain't seen nothing yet. They ain't seen nothing yet, baby. This word right here is actually a spinoff from one of the videos that I just recently dropped here on my YouTube channel entitled, uh, They Don't Know Who You Are, But God Will Show Them. And as I was going back through and I was listening to the video and just, I'm telling y'all, baby, it was the Holy Spirit because God will have me do that. He'll have me go back and replay some of my older messages or my messages that I've previously done. And then it's kind of like how it is in the movies when y'all see like a movie and the movie is really good. And then there's one particular character that you really resonate with in the movie and you like their story. You like they portion of the movie and what they bring to the movie. And then it's like the directors and the producers and stuff. They see that this character right here, this part of the story, we want to highlight this part of the story and we want to make this story its own movie. Like we're going to do a spinoff. So that's what God be having me do with a lot of the words that he give me. He'll take a portion of that word and then he'll say, okay, I want you to spin off, baby. Y'all put that in the comments, say spin off. The Lord says, I'm going to give you a divine spin off, baby. Put it in the comments, say divine spin off. So this word right here is a divine spin off from the other video entitled, they don't know who you are, but God will show them. And God meant just what he said when he said that, that they don't know who you are. They accept, I reveal to them who you are. They will never know. And, and God is the one that has to reveal to them. They have to have revelation, divine revelation directly from your heavenly father in order to see who you are in the kingdom and to, in order to see that you are the chosen one. And in, in a section of that video, this is the spinoff, because in a section of that video, God was saying that they ain't seen nothing yet. So y'all put that in the comments, baby. Said they ain't seen nothing yet. No, they listen. He said, you got folk hating on you. You got folk talking about you for the little stuff that you have done, for the little moves that you just made. And you ain't even broke your foot off in that thing yet. Come on now. God said, like he was telling us in that scripture in 1 John 3 and 2, he said, it does not yet appear what you shall be and it does not yet appear what you shall do so he's saying to you that you ain't seen nothing yet come on now they ain't seen nothing yet you ain't seen nothing yet i hear the lord say baby that you might have thought that you done had your best day you might have thought that you done did the best that you would ever do you might have thought that you done made the most amount of money that you will ever make you might have thought that you done you done met and had and been in a relationship with the best man or the best woman the best partner that you done ever had but i hear the lord say baby that you ain't seen nothing yet I hear him say, ooh, he says, your eyes have not seen. Come on now. I'm going to put this scripture in the description, baby, because I forgot to write it down. But the Lord just dropped this thing in my spirit. I just left out the nail shop from getting my nails did, baby. And I had to come on here on this video, baby, and drop this word on y'all. Because he says, your eyes have not seen. Come on now. Your ears have not heard. He said, you ain't seen nothing yet, baby. He said, you about to get ready to blow your own mind. Through the power that the Lord has placed on the inside of you, I hear him say, baby, that you finna blow your own your own mind. You finna do some things that you never knew that you had the capability to do these things. You finna supersede, you finna exceed every limitation, every lie, every box that people try to box you in. God is showing me why all of your life for some of you that this word is for. People have boxed you in. People have said that you ain't gonna do nothing, that you ain't gonna be nothing, that you're gonna be just like your mama, you're gonna be just like your daddy you're gonna be just like such and such uh-huh they have spoken word curses over you but i hear the lord say baby that it does not yet appear what you shall be and they ain't seen nothing yet glory be to god just like god was saying on that other video he said tell these folk baby don't write me off don't write me off. Tell them don't write you off, baby, because they don't know what you're gonna do and just because you didn't do it according to their timeline <laughs> Come on now. Let me break that thing down right there, baby. Because God said folks folks ain't seen nothing yet. And they'll write you off and say you ain't going to do nothing. And you ain't going to be nothing. Because you ain't do it according to their timeline. 
See, if I would have went by other folk timeline, other folk would have told y'all that I wasn't going to never be nothing. Come on now. Other folk would have told y'all that I'm going to be on food stamps for the rest of my life. Other folk would have told y'all that I was going to be in, in, in government housing and, and getting governmental assistance for the rest of my life. Come on now. Other folks would have told y'all that I would have never been nothing, that I would have never made no impact, that don't nobody want to listen to me and what I got to talk about because here I am, 30, 30 years old, divorced. Come on now, with three children to raise on my own, coming out that marriage, divorce, didn't know how I was gonna pay my bills, didn't know, didn't have, didn't um have like a, a extensive um college uh, degree and all that stuff. I I ain't got all that stuff. I graduated from high school and I got that I got that um little two year associate degree that I ain't never did that I ain't never did nothing with that I got from a community college in my hometown I ain't never did nothing with that because when nobody even never hired me for that but see if I would have went by other people's timeline see because I when I graduated from high school in 2006 um it was like a few months after that, instead of me going to college, I didn't go to college. I didn't go out to school. Let me tell y'all what I was doing. I was, I ended up working at the chicken plant. <laughs> Come on now, let me testify. Let's get in this transparency right here, baby. Like my brothers in Christ from Relate Camp, brother Sidney Tyson and brother um, uh, Ricky Hill and brother Thaddeus House, baby. Shout out to Relate Camp. To all my men, baby, y'all make sure y'all check in with Relate Count for the Relate Through Transparency Men's Group, baby, because I love I love what they are doing in the kingdom of God and that transparency. So I'm doing what my brother's doing on this video today, baby. I'm finna get y'all some transparency, okay? Listen, 2006, I graduated from high school, baby, and it wasn't even six months later I was working at the chicken plant. The chicken plant is somewhere you do not want to go. Do you understand me? From where we at, baby, and where we from, where we stay, you don't want to go to the chicken plant because it's cold in now, the flow wet, it's stinking now because they kill chickens in now. That's where they produce the chickens that y'all be eating and stuff, baby. That's where I was working at in 2006 when I graduated from high school now. So if I were going by somebody else's timeline, Come on now. If I were going by date, but see, God said they ain't seen nothing yet. Because he said, well, you were working in that chicken plant. When, did what he told me. He said, woman, you were 19 years old and you were working in that chicken plant. But he said they didn't know that you was the chosen one. Come on now. Because he said it had not yet appeared what you shall be. So God said these folks ain't seen nothing yet. And I just wonder who am I talking to today, baby, in 2023 or whatever year you watch this video, you might be working a job where folks look at you and they see what you doing and they say oh she ain't never gonna be nothing come on now he ain't never gonna be nothing glory be to god you know they own food stamps you know they own medicaid you know they own governmental assistance you know they live in section eight housing come on now who am i talking to today baby but the lord revealed to me he said you don't know who that is living in that section eight housing he said you don't know who that is getting governmental assistance baby that's god's chosen one and it does not yet appear what they shall be because the lord said they ain't seen nothing yet he said i'm gonna bring you into a season where you can give the government their assistance bite because he said you i feel the power of god today he said you gonna be the one giving the assistance you gonna be the one giving out the assistance baby i hear the lord say that i'm gonna move you from a from a borrower to a lender you ain't gonna have to borrow nothing from nobody do you understand me glory be to god i hear the lord say that that lender shall be your portion that abundance shall be your portion baby and he said these folks ain't seen nothing yet just because you ain't do it when they thought you should have did it. See, what I'm doing now, it been in me all my life. I could have did this 10 years ago. But it was a process that I had to walk. It was it was mistakes that I had to make. It was choices that I had to make. It was decisions that I had to make. And I had to fall. Come on now. The Bible says that the righteous man falls seven times. Woo. But it say he gets back up again, baby. See, it's a process that you have to go through. It's a journey that you got to walk in order to become the person that God created you to be. You don't become this person overnight. It take years for you to become who God created you to be. It take you falling. It take you thinking that you had it all right just to figure out that you was all wrong. It take you, it take your pride being hurt. It take you getting knocked down to nothing. Do y'all understand what I'm saying to you? It take you working dead end jobs. It take you being in dead end relationships and marriages. It take you having children and having to raise them on your own because all of these things, they teach you something. 
They help you to grow. They help you to become the person that God has created you to be. Glory be to God. So the Lord said they ain't seen nothing yet. He said, just because you didn't do what they thought you should have did when they thought you should have did it. See, I'm sure it was a lot of folks that were looking at me, folks in my family too. Come on now, because if folks in your family, if folks that say they love you, folks that got the same blood running through their veins as you, let's talk about it. Come on now. Some of them very own folks that you thought love you, them some of the folks that done wrote you off. Them some of the folks that somewhere having conversations about you, telling folks that they knew you weren't going to never be nothing. Who am I talking to, baby? That they knew you weren't going to never amount to anything. That they knew you were going to be just like such and such. But the Lord said that I'm getting ready to shut the mouths of your enemies. Come on now. Because he said it does not yet appear what you shall be. Glory be to God. This is the spinoff today, baby. Come on now. Somebody say the divine spinoff. Woo! I'm going to put that on the title. I just heard the Holy Spirit say, make sure you stick that up there. Make sure you put the thing up there. Let them know it's the divine spinoff. Glory be to God. God finna spin off on this thing, baby. God said, I'm finna take you from zero to 100 real quick. They ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Come on now. It does not yet appear what you shall be. The Lord said, just because you ain't do it when they thought you should have did it. He said, that don't mean nothing, baby. Because God say, I'm just getting started. Put it in the comments, baby. Get your journal. Get your blue ink pen. Say, God, just getting started with me. I don't know what y'all thought. I don't know who, I don't know what they told you. I don't I don't care who been sitting around talking about you, saying this, saying that. God said it don't matter who plotting. Come on now. Don't matter who's scheming. Don't matter who conspiring against you because of the anointing that is on your life. The Lord said, tell them, put their glasses on, baby, because they ain't seen nothing yet. They ain't seen nothing yet, baby. Glory be to God. The Lord say you finna get ready to, to, to blow right past these folks. Some, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. Some of the folks that have been ahead of you all your life. Ooh, you better hear this today. Glory be to God. Some of these folks that you thought were more successful than you. You thought they had their thing on the string. Come on now. You thought they had it all together. But the Lord says, baby, that it does not yet appear. Come on now. He said a lot of this stuff that's going on with these folks behind the scenes, you can't see it. But God says that I can see the thing that no man can see. Come on now. He said, I can hear the conversations that you can't hear. And God said, he keep telling me this. He said, what you think is, isn't. I said, glory be to God. Come on now. He said, don't look at these folks, baby. Because he said, your eyes will be deceived if you look at what people look like on the outside. And you look at what their marriages look like on the outside. Woo. And you look at what their businesses look like on the outside. A lot of this stuff you think is isn't so the lord say forget them folks and put your head down come on now and get to work on you it's time for you to get serious about your transformation it's time for you to get serious about becoming the person that god has created you to be glory be to god they ain't seen nothing yet you ain't seen nothing yet you thought you had your best day but you have not you have not reached the full level that god has for you baby you stay tuned Oh, that's what I just heard him say. Tell him to stay tuned. <laughs> Tell him to stay tuned, baby, because we just not getting to the good part. Woo! We just not getting to the to the to the part where the fireworks finna spark, baby. We just not getting to the part where the volcano getting ready to erupt. Tell these four, baby, say this is the time we've been waiting on. This is the season we've been waiting on. This is the season where it shall be revealed. Who you really are. And who God is and where God is. Glory be to God. They ain't seen nothing yet. Tell them to stay tuned, baby, because they ain't seen nothing yet. You getting ready to supersede, exceed, blow right past all these folk. And I hear them saying, who is that? Where she came from? Where he came from? Y'all remember that word I gave y'all, baby, when I told y'all they ain't never see you coming? Listen, you finna hit them like, listen, baby, you finna hit them like an explosion. God said they ain't gonna never see you coming because what God is doing with you, see, they don't know that he been hiding you and he been working with you underground and he been revealing things to you and he been showing things to you. And I hear the Lord say that when the time is right, come on now, somebody put that in the comments, baby, say when the time is right, woo, the Lord will make it happen. He finna make it happen for you, baby, because he said they ain't seen nothing yet. Glory be to God. 
I love y'all so much, baby. I am Latoya O'Kill. I'm going to check back in with y'all later, baby. God going to give y'all some more spinoffs from that word because God is doing a new thing. Y'all put that in the comments. Tell everybody you know. Say, stop looking for the same old stuff because God doing a new thing with the divine ones. Come on now. God doing a new thing with the chosen ones. Glory be to God. I love y'all so much, baby. If you have not joined my academy, make sure you click that link below and sign up. We have some, I have some um, coaching sessions that I'm getting ready to offer inside of my academy as a group. We got, we got some master classes that we getting ready to teach. The Lord done started putting, up, putting it on my heart to share some of the movies that I watch that really have an impact on my life. And he told me to start doing teachings from those movies. So I'm going to be doing that inside of my academy. So you want to make sure that you sign up so that you can be a part of that. Okay. I'm going to open back up my membership for right now. So if you have not joined the monthly membership for Latoya O'Keele Academy, click the link below baby and sign up while there's open enrollment because they're going to come a season where I'm going to close it again. And then we're going to be offering master classes. And if you're not in the membership, then you're going to have to buy the master classes but if you in the membership then you get the master classes for free okay so i love y'all so much and i'm gonna check back in with y'all later